so so them boys blew up um jock his first single off the charts y'all rocking and rolling at that point mm. did, did you start to to feel any friction like at what point did you feel friction within the camp and i'm speaking about boys in the hood specifically because after the first album dropped you know jeezy he had his own thing going on so he was kind of in the group, but he was also focusing on his own solo project. Did, did you feel any tension in the group at that point? No, I, I mean, I wouldn't, I can't really even speak on on, on that because I wouldn't know them how they felt. You know what I'm saying? That's like, uh, I can suspect, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't feel it because I ain't had nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I don't even know if it was tension. Uh, but I do know brothers fight. And when you've got, you know, grown men, you know, testosterone, egos, and money, and, you know, un unlimited everything, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's going to be some, it's going to be some, off, you know, going to be some furniture moving here though, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay. Uh so Jeezy Lee the group. And and for that matter, did you have a good relationship with Jeezy? Oh, I, I don't I don't I don't I don't know him. Still to this day? No, no, I don't know him. Wow. Yeah, I don't know Jeezy. Okay. Um Boys in the Hood first album come, it do its thing, blow up. Jeezy leads the group. At what point did Block approach you about getting in the group? Um, he approached me about getting in the group before he, before he approached me about doing a solo. Solo, uh, some solo. I had, uh, um, the group situation came first. So, so what was that conversation like? <sighs> He's like, I'm gonna put you in boys in the hood. <laughs> Just that simple? Yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna put you in boys in the hood. I know them niggas. They were looking at me like, man, who is this? Why would you got going? Who is this nigga, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but uh, you know, it didn't take long for, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You cut from, you cut from whatever cloth you cut from. So I'm thankful for the cloth that I'm cut from, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't. I can't change up as a gift and a curse. I'm, I'm real to what, what you what you see is what you get. So it's all real quick. Whatever it is, it is. I'm loyal. Okay, so so how did the group embrace you? Like here you are, you you not the you not the gorilla zone that the world know today. You the young yeah. dude who was taking out trash in the studio, and now yeah. you want to now now you a member of the group. Like like. I mean, Jody's Jody at that point. Dude, hey, dude, yeah. he's, he's, Jody, I, that dude, bro. Jody, Jody's still that dude. You know, I'm always going. You know, they, they, uh, they, they didn't. They, you know, they, they, they gave, they made it as hard as they supposed to make it, and they, they, uh, they embraced me as much as they, they should have. Um, I don't think it was no, no malice. It was no malice, uh, at all. Uh, it was. You know, they 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 pulled me in like a brother. You know, we and in in that, you know, it's certain. You know, it's, it's codes that we live by. If they not in you, if them codes ain't already encoded in you, you have a hard time because it, we live by codes. You know what I'm saying? And and we hold we hold ourselves and hold each other accountable. That's so, right. <laughs> And I, I learned, you know, and nobody got a problem with telling you, hey, boy, you tripping. You know what I'm saying? And if, and if, I, if I feel like I'm not tripping, I'm going to say, I'm not, we can go, he can go as far as he's going to go. And it will. It will when you're dealing with, you know, when you're dealing with grown men, you know, being out, being up, being away from home, away from their families, away from everything, it, you, you know, for, for a certain, for amounts of time every day. It get, it get rough, but it's, it's uh, that's just part of the game. You know what I'm saying? Every rock band or every 
you know, country band, they all don't been through it. So it ain't nothing different with hip hop. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, being able to experience it. I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.